My name is Jason and I have saggy drawers. So we recently bought my son some new furniture and come to find out he had some saggy drawers. Oftentimes they come with little plastic pieces you can uh, stick in the little front groove to hold that up and they get screwed in but I don't know if we didn't get any or we just failed to install them but his drawers started sagging. Let's first take a look at how I created the object in Tinkercad. After that we'll do a quick time lapse and then uh, I'll show you how easy they are to install. So let me show you real quick how I did that in Tinkercad. It was a long flat box. That was, oh yeah, right about 50 millimeters long. And then I turned around and shrank this one uh, down to one millimeter. And I know I went about like that to create a couple different sections. So first, let's go ahead and paste that one. Let's leave this one right here and make it about three millimeters and up to oh say about 10 was it and let's go ahead and paste again let's grab this one right here and uh, this one was about five millimeters to give it a little bit of strength and i think this was actually a little bit longer so we're going to make it up to let's go to 12. let's go ahead and drop this one down just a little bit down to four yeah that looks about right so the next thing i did was give it a little bit of back support after i created the basic rough structure so let's come over here to the list so first thing, I raised it up so it was just on top. I put it in just a little bit. And I shrank the top down just a little bit. And let's go ahead and kind of take a look sort of from the front. That, in and of itself, was basically what I did. Now, I did a couple other things to actually make this a little bit um, better. If you notice, I on the front of this, there's a, an angle here. The way I handled that is I flipped this guy right over like this. I shrunk him down to the one millimeter. I made him exactly the right width. So now what I'm going to start doing is creating parts that I cut away. So uh, this one right here um, first is a part I'm going to cut out of the top. I'm going to cut the blue piece out of that red piece. And that looks about right. And for now, I'm going to go ahead and go like that. Um, then I'm going to actually take this guy and I'm going to copy and paste him again because on this one, I want to make him and give it an even steeper angle to the very front of it. And it was very nice that it sized itself just perfect. I'm going to hit this to zoom in on that piece right there. Um, so that when I go like that and that and that and I group them all together, you now have a nice cut off piece. All right, so the next thing I needed to do was I took a cylinder to create holes. And these holes are four millimeters by four millimeters. If I can drag it correctly, four millimeters by four millimeters. Then I rotated it 90 degrees. And then I copied and pasted it just so I had a second one. And it looks like, yeah, right. See, look down there. That's about right. Let's go ahead and drop him down one so that he looks right about there and let's go ahead and take this guy over here looking at the base he was about like that let's double check here there's one two three squares there one two three 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 that looks just about perfect let's turn this one into a hole let's turn that one into a hole and grab everything group it up and there you go. So now that we got the object created, let's go ahead and send that over to the printer and see how it turns out.
have it printed, it's actually pretty easy, pretty easy to install. Once you make sure the uh, drawer back is, bottom is into the uh, proper spot, slide it right underneath and approximately the middle. And you get a couple screws. I just went down to the uh, local big box hardware store, picked up a couple number six half inch screws that uh, won't fit through the uh, face, all the way through the face of the drawer. No pre-drilling. I just screw them in. Now, we simply put the drawer back in. No more saggy drawers. So do you have uh, any ideas for problems we can solve? Comment down below with it. We'll see what we can do. Until next time, this is Jason from The Hot End. Make sure you like and comment down below. And uh, don't forget to follow us on Twitter, at The Hot End. Talk to you soon.